is a declutch mechanism, so we can disengage the ball valve from the actuator. This is a spring return actuator, you can do it with a double acting or spring return. When you need to have a manual override with a pneumatic actuator, you've got to put some mechanism in between that allows you to disengage the actuator and operate this unit. We've got here a handle which we can swing around. I'll just turn this, show this to you. Handle here has a little manual button on here which we can release, which engages and disengages the automatic. There's a little label down the side here that says auto and manual. And by lifting this up like that, we put it onto auto. The unit then locks into place. And can we manually, also, I'll just override the actuator. And it closes. Now, if we want to manually operate this unit and operate the override, by lifting that up, we can then pull the handle down. And what this does, I'll just swing this around again. The air supply comes in here. We've got a little part called inlet there and outlet. So the outlet is fed to either the Namur or the 3-2 valve, which is operating your uh, 5-2 or 3-2 valve, which is operating your actuator. And when this goes on to manual, that hissing noise you heard was the air being dumped out of the actuator. So the actuator now has no air in it and you can then manually operate the hand wheel to turn the unit. It's turned a couple of times. You just see it slowly turning at the top here. And this is a spring return actuator, so it's driving against a spring as well. And then we can turn it back to our, after we've rotated it, operate the unit, turn it back to there again. And if I went and operated this unit at the moment, nothing will happen because the air is isolated from the actuator, which is a real big safety feature. Uh, compliance in a lot of sites would require you to put this isolation system in. And to put it back onto manual, I just lift up the little pin here, slide this back up again, pin then locks into place. You can't operate without operating that pin. It's a little detent. And that's now put air back onto the actuator. And manual to operate this. Very handy little device. You can use this valve on butterfly, ball, or other types of units where you have a pneumatic actuator, either double acting or spring return, and you want to isolate the system and operate it with a manual function here. This is a declutch mechanism, and it's an interface between the actuator and the ball valve.